The Falling Walls 2021 Science Breakthrough of the Year. Gracias. Marginalized communities in Puerto Rico are survivors of colonialism, government incompetence, hurricanes, earthquakes, and the pandemic, and a frequent hour-long electrical blackouts. In the face of these crises and failures, local leaders like them take outsized and often volunteer roles to build support networks for their communities so that they can meet their basic needs and face these challenges. In other words, when all else fails in Puerto Rico, communities and their leaders take care of each other. And taking care of each other is precisely the meaning of Aquí Nos Cuidamos, the name of our project. Aquí Nos Cuidamos puts science in service of marginalized communities so that they can use their own science knowledge to take care of each other precisely. Aquí Nos Cuidamos is built on three core principles. First, it's community-centered. We have co-created this project with the communities that we serve at every stage of the way. Second, it's evidence-based. Besides drawing from community knowledge, we are using social, behavioral, biomedical sciences, public health designs and communications to inform our strategies. And finally, there's cultural relevance because we must make sure that what we're doing is pertinent to the different realities of communities in Puerto Rico. Aquí Nos Cuidamos also has several components. We have a multimedia toolkit that has four public service campaigns focused on COVID-19 prevention, promoting COVID-19 vaccination, and mental health care. The toolkit is composed of images, infogra infographics, um, videos that are in Spanish and American Sign Language, audios, and written materials that make science accessible and practical for anyone from individuals to institutions who want to use them for their educational purposes. Aquí Nos Cuidamos also contains a community engagement project where we've been doing listening sessions and community consultations. We have WhatsApp chats that allow us to be in constant contact with our communities so that we can constantly listen to their needs, priorities, um, and their questions. And then finally, what I am most proud of is we have a community ambassadors program where we're working with 10 community leaders across Puerto Rico to potentiate their existing efforts by providing them with funding, with communications and graphic design support, as well as mental health workshops. So far, we have created more than 200 multimedia assets that are available for free for download at aquinoscuidamos.org, which has been visited by more than 20,000 people from 127 countries. Our audios and videos are being broadcasted as public service announcements by more than a dozen TV and radio stations in Puerto Rico. Our content has been shared more than a thousand times on social media, and it's also being used at community health clinics. We have trained more than 200 epidemiologists, educators, health promoters, and community leaders, and are collaborating with 17 private and public partners, including the Puerto Rico House of Representatives, so that they can all adapt our educational toolkit to their educational needs. And then finally, our community ambassadors have hosted more than two, um, a dozen uh, community events from um, clinics, testing clinics, vaccination clinics, to restoring a dilapidated children's park so that a community could have a low-risk gathering place to start coming together and healing from, most, uh, from months of social <laughs> distancing. We estimate that we have impacted more than 200,000 people alone in Puerto Rico. Aquí Nos Cuidamos bears three key lessons for all of us 
who are interested in using science to address the wicked challenges our society faces. First, is that beyond engaging communities with science, we must build broad coalitions between local community leaders, the scientific community, public and private institutions to build community with and around science. Second, is that we most value local knowledge and break with traditional notions of science expertise. Communities know what they need. They have and they use science knowledge, and we have to listen to them and value them as experts. And then finally, to address these big challenges that we face, disasters and crises, besides science, we need solidarity. It is this combination of science and solidarity that's gonna allow us not just to address challenges, disasters, and crises, but that's gonna allow communities to heal from the trauma caused by them and thrive by taking care of each other. Porque en Puerto Rico y en cualquier lugar, aquí nos cuidamos. Thank you.